Hey there everyone, Eddie here, Troy Croft server, playing the, <laughs> playing the DNS pack, what is it, I ain't got a clue, I'm playing some, sort of me and Troy just been cracking dirty jokes, and Mountain Dew was supposed to be starting recording, so we're giving her the giggles first, ah, oh, I'm just angry, yeah. Gotta do it, you can't resist. Ah, well, what am I doing under here anyway? What am I doing? I'm working for change because Tryonas and Mr. P are too close together, so their portals are clashing. So, what we're doing, I'm waiting for the next reply now. What we're doing today is I said to Try, I'll come in and fix his portals. I thought, perfect time to make a video of it. So if your portal is linked with someone else's portal because they're too close, this is how we fix it. First off, you need to find out where your portal is. So you stand next to it, make a note of the coordinates, which I've got on my little mini-map over there. Then you take them coordinates. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> Poor old man, did you? Oh dear. Right, so, we'll take the coordinates down, which we've done there. Uh, room for one. Yeah, it's getting very rude now. So, if we take down the coordinates for the portal, I'm not so much worried about the height, but you can take that down as well. Now, our X coordinate is minus 2082 for this one. So if I stand here, it's 2083. I oh know it's 2084. So that'll be four. So that'll make a big difference or nothing. Right, yeah. Sorry, brain went. Excuse me. Yeah, so 2082 would do. It's close enough. So you take that minus 2082 and you divide it by eight. <laughs> Um, yeah, you divide it by eight because the overworld, every eight blocks is one block in the nether. Uh, sorry, this is going to be one of those episodes, you can tell. So, we divide 2082 by eight and we get minus 260. Now, the other dimension is minus 20, 1066. So, we divide that and we get 133. Minus 133. Now, Trionis is coming here to be rude. Okay, I've got to go through, go through. So, we know that we've got to move the portal to align it. Uh, whoa, that's a nice and friendly spawnage, isn't it? To coordinates of minus 260, because this is probably Mr. P's coordinates. So we want minus 260, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare. And this is the first time I've been in. Oh, never. So I'm expecting to get murdered. Quite profusely, by as many ghasts and stuff as can get me. So, what direction are we going there? Minus 18, we want minus 260, 133. So if we dig this way, just because we can, and whoa, happy days! That's why you have blocks on your bar, just so you can do that. Since they put these little hidden blocks of lava in your nether right now. It's so much riskier digging around, especially with making stairs. Uh, right, let's put a torch here so we can see. No, we don't need a torch actually, because we're very near where we want to be. So, that's the 133 line there. Let's just make ourselves a bit of space. We'll put a torch for the 133 line. 
Now we're quite low in the never. Oh, another tin. Don't really want to be mining all that in case it annoys the Mr. Pig's men. So we'll take a risky trip. Climbing up. And see if we can reach the surface up this way. Where is it? Ash block. Of which nothing cuts it easily, does it? There we go, we've got a surface. I do believe we have. Yes. So we're now at minus 273. And we want minus 260. So we've gone a long way the wrong direction. Which is typical. Whoa, let's go, I'm on fire. But while we're here, I need to grab a little bit of Neverack. Not Neverack, uh, Soul Sand. Oh, actually, I'm going to get on the Soul Sand because this stuff is catching me on fire. So we want the 133 line, which is over here. And we need to get to. 260, which is 60 blocks that way. It's a fair old track away from that portal. It's going to be a bit of adventure, that's for sure. Oh, that could be quite nice. Is it about there? No. Borrow a little bit while we're here. Never does any harm. So. <laughs> just. Oh, why is it no tunnels ever go in the right direction? This is looking good. We might not be too bad here. There's a couple of imps down there. Well, there we go. Every time. Stop that. And so two eighty one forty let's drop down here quickly. So we're on we're kinda of looking to be uh two eighty still so we've still got to go twenty blocks back. I was hoping to be on the surface. Is that cobalt? Yeah. Can I get cobalt with this pick? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm having some of that. I saw some other somewhere as well. Don't know if it was cobalt or not. So, 290. Oh, we still got to go that way. Derp my brain. Cobalt. Yes, please. Thank you. 270. I can hear pigments, so they're not going to be too happy if I'm digging up all walls. I do like collecting these while I'm in the never. So I'll have one of them. 268. It's 133 light. Um, so 260's there. So 133 is going to be this way. Yeah, so I moved 50 blocks over, which isn't my best ever move. So I'm going to have to go round and back now if I can. What have we got here? Oop. This could be very helpful. So 260-ish. 
and we're still 160 so we need to go 27 blocks further that way Mithril, not interested in Mithril. Then we come back inside that seat. It's going to be right in this wall, isn't it? Pretty much. So let's go for it then. Let's not fall off. Oh. Good. So one forties. Of course, me jumping down there is terrible. So two sixty, one thirty three. Why am I getting my numbers all back to front today? So, 260 is here. Just need to dig in here till we get to 133. So it's minus 260, minus 133. And we'll be away. And that number's going up, so we're going the wrong way. How clever. See, I tell you, I'll get my numbers back to front. So this is perfect, actually. Couldn't ask for better. So there is 260. 133 is here. And we know when I stood there, we was in front of it. So if I put this, of course I've got an inventory full of junk. Three. We'll dig out that side. Three. Oh, fudge! Does this cut obsidian? If this doesn't cut obsidian, I'm in trouble. It should cut obsidian, but cut, cut cobalt. Yeah. Good. That would have been bad. I uh, can't really see. That's it. There, there. Stick one on the corner because we can. That now should line up with Trionis's port. To bring him out in here, which will be his own portal. Let's see if we can link it. I haven't aligned it. And go. Boop. Jump through, and we should reappear in Trionis's tunnels. Should, if we're lucky. That's a good sign. Now, if we go back through here, we should pop back out where I just made that portal. Hey! Job is a good one. That now means that whenever Tri goes backwards and forwards, as long as he uses this portal to go backwards, to go in, and to come back out, he will return to his own base. Which is cool. And Tri's base is just up here. Ta -da. Tri's base. Let me know it's all done. Sleeping, sleeping back time. Boosh. Yeah, so whilst that wasn't the most in depth way of doing it, all you're really doing is 
any time. All you're really doing is taking your overworld coordinates, dividing them by eight, and putting your new portal in its place. Which is simple. I do like his place out here. It's got nice wide open plains to work on. Just needs a big walled village. What have I got there? I can just... Trees. Trees are nice. All these plains, not enough trees. Let's give him loads of trees. More trees! More trees needed! More trees! <laughs> Needs or oh, trees. I've got barley now. Have I got barley? Have some barley. I don't want it. I've got trees. <laughs> I'm run away. He's gonna zap me with something. He's doing his magician stuff. <laughs> oh, anyway. I'm going to head back to my place. See you later, try. <laughs> oh, good fun. More reading to do. Yeah, I was flying over to dry space because I forgot I had his coordinates. Then as I was flying over, I was checking out trees. And... Which is why I've got a full inventory. And Merp's space is this way. Oh, that'll be fun. Let's go see if we can find Mr. P's space. Give him some trees. Because he's very much into Project E at the moment. What I should have done was gone back through the portal and appeared back at his base. No, can't see it at the moment. Don't quite know where he's put it. He did, yes, sent me coordinates, so I will come over and scout it out soon. I just like flying around, opening my map up a bit, and seeing if there's anything, yeah, anything exciting to come along and organise. Like, for instance, have a tree. It's good for you a few people put trees in strange places. Cause, uh, don't really want to go too far south because I'll live that away. About 2,000 blocks out of way. So I may just zap there using teleportation. And I can show you what I've done with... Um, Eddie will. Ooh, what have we got here? Just a pillar. Oh no, it's one of these. Oh, it hasn't got any of them thingies on it. Oh, it's got an Eldritch Guardian though. That's not very friendly, is it, Mr. Guardian? Woo. I've only got three arts, I just thought I'm not... Not me, I mean... Yeah, not good. Um, he's got more sword and everything there now. Come on, come with me, we need to go battle. This may be a string of deaths. Uh, equipment. We need to equip eyes. Uh, what have we got, what have we got? Need a stick, for starters. Stick and a pick. What is a pick slimy? Yeah, it'll do. It's rubbish, but it'll do. Bronze sword is rubbish. Ideally, I want some of them green globules, not slimy. That's rubbish. An end is pretty good. Right. To battle, let's go back to the death point using the waypoints, because it's a long walk to go. Should be that one. Yeah, you're here somewhere. Oh, there's two of you. 
Um, don't mind me, just getting me stuff and legging it. Smell you all later, actually. <laughs> this is not good, is it? This is tempting fight. This is in this two of them. Well, once a word. Just couldn't do it in bat form. They give me anything good. I need to clear some space to find out. Uh, yeah, clearing the space is easier said than done in my inventory. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, as you can see, I've been collecting safari nets. <laughs> yes, it's the power of... What's his face? Um, don't tell me everything's full up. Well, that's going to cause troubles, isn't it? Get with the junk, then. Like one bit of whatever that is. What is that? Dirt, coarse dirt. I've got everything full up, that is terrible. And I'm trying to fly, and it's not working. Let's get back to base. Let's head back and see what we actually got there. Because that was a little bit crazy. Yes, the reason I've got all this fire in it is because I want to increase, let's drop all of this off. Anything that is not directly related to stuff I need, obsidian, plants, food, come back and need that. Soul sand will need, I can all go in there for the minute. That's, it's fire in it. Uh, this is radians from assaulted everywhere. That's my shovel. Uh, it's food. Keep throwing me food out. Not good. I can go in there for the minutes. And the other one was firing next as well, wasn't it? That one. So, now the reason I got with safari nets is my plan is to get as many guardsmen from walled villages that aren't being used by people and build up my defences here so we have like Eddie's army as it were but it's going to take a fair bit of doing because it will need a lot of guardians so I use my condenser to make up the load of safari nets took way too many out that I needed and filled up all my bags. But in saying that, I then had other plans for bags, which I never got around to fulfilling, which can be done now. Is that going to go in there? No. Nope. Go in that one. And I haven't got any arrows now. Typical. Which I did start cooking. What was I cooking it up? Was it in here? I think it may have been. Yep, cooked up some tanned leather. Which is quite easy to do. It's literally, well, let's put any eye back on. Tanned leather is bound leather. And bound leather is just two leather and loads of string. Turn it to bound leather, you cook that, and you get your, your stuff of leather or whatever it's called. Uh, Tanned leather. Now, with the condenser, oh, I've got some arrows. <laughs> it's handy. With the condenser, it's easy to get your string. Because that's the only thing I've short of. I made one piece of string using some, oh, I can't remember if it was flax or cotton balls 
I made one piece of string and I made enough string to make loads of bound leather and with the bound leather if I remember right I've got a crafting table here I can make bigger bags so I'm going to make four of the big backpacks which have a lot more storage room in them and you can't do that with the one you're picking up so in theory I shall have plenty of storage to carry around with me so I can go off on a good old explore and not run out of space which would be quite good definitely quite good but what have I done around here I um, smoothed out some of the gravel I've done a little bit of tidying up the buildings like putting blocks in where they were missing uh, just basically made the pathways more walkable at the moment Filled in the walls rather nicely. Let's go back into bat mode if I haven't lost it. Because I died in the bat. Did I lose it? No, good. Sometimes you lose it. Well, sometimes you lose your morph, depending on the configs, if you die in that morph. Now, I did have somewhere flying around the outside, get shot by skellies. Yes, I did have plans. Now, if I fly over to this side, we'll quickly sleep, see if we can get every, anyone to sleep, because I can't see what I'm doing. I need to come out of morph to do that. And, oh, it's just endless. Press the right button and it will help. Just endlessness. I'm trying to do a simple thing, and things just go terribly, terribly wrong killed by the Eldritch Guardian. Oh well. I chuckled at Mr. P because he got killed by one of them. But what can you do? No worries. We'll just do it in the dark. Not a problem. Yeah, so back to our zone this bit goes all the way around goes all the way around here and all the way around here oh mouse is really misbehaving today and basically it circles the whole city city, town, village. Excuse all the trees, there's just been a few added. Trees, everybody needs trees. And it kind of breaks up here, but wanders off that way. Now, if I come back over here, to where all these trees are, where I have my tree from, there's another patch of water over here so it kind of not making it an island but it's definitely cutting it off a bit so I might work with some of these waterways to increase um, the isolation of this Yeah, it's because it's it's gonna add a lot. Well, I'm very interested to know. Yeah, my dude's still here. Need to put a torch on him. Stop people activating him because don't want him activated. I shall activate him soon enough, but just at the moment he's waiting. He's waiting, waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, over here, what I was doing, in the chaos. Made myself a little tree farm. Well, standard trees, basically rubber, birch and oak in this one. And I've got kind of a pattern set up, so... Plenty of glowstone, because you've got one bit of glowstone with a condenser, you can get tons of it. 
then I put some dark oaks and some sakuras and eucalyptuses around to build up this side with a bit of a woody feel. When I get more saplings I shall bring it out a bit further. But I kind of want this as a river. Which will be quite good if I can get it to go all the way around most of the city. So that is kind of my plan, is to bring that in as a bit of a river, have roads coming in with bridges. Got Mushroom Island here, which has got very few mushrooms on it now. Because I'd had a bit of a culling session. We had so many mushrooms in each of these biomes that they kind of needed a bit of trimming down. So I just grabbed this biome and stripped out about mm, three, four hundred mushrooms. Just went around and killed them all. I did up eight stacks of beef and four stacks of leather. I did really well. We just were running around for a little while killing all them. So we had that on the go at the moment. So we've got the rivers being planned. We have the trees at a tree farm over this corner, I think, isn't it? Well, that's this corner. So we'll get used to this town working out where I'll put stuff. That corner. One of these corners. This corner down here. That's the little tree farm. Just there. So let's get a bit of tree farm. And I'm going to try and maybe bring forest out off this edge. This side, don't know yet, not really thought of that, because it's got the mushrooms over there. But we're going to bring something into here as well. But I'm looking for a bit of farmland, so I can have a couple of farms outside. I'm very tempted because this is going to be circled by the river, is to have this as a bit of farmland with maybe a farmhouse on it. So it can come into the into the town from there. Possibly, maybe, or possibly maybe over here because it's big and flat. And then we've got the meteor site over here, which is something I want to do as well. Loads of plans, see, loads of plans. None of it coming together yet. Anyway, I'm going to call it there for this episode because all I was really going to do was show off the realigning the portals but ended up getting carried away with messing about so i shall call it here everyone have a brilliant day and every time i do that come on thank you have a brilliant day and i shall see you next time bye don't do it no don't don't I can talk you down. Come back on. Don't jump. It's not worth it. There's so much more to life. Don't do it. Come back in. Come on. Come on. Don't jump. I leave you. You'll be okay. Don't jump. Don't jump. Here, Lip. Take my feather. No! Oh, oh. Oh, that's going to cause trouble now. Run and hide! <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'm in trouble! <laughs> um, oops. I think I might have upset everybody in the village. Bye again! <laughs>